So whereas the new normal is things like online assessment processes, we've got this here fresh, hot off the press from the College of Policing. Um, we've got uh, Microsoft Team interviews, we've got Skype interviews, we've got Zoom interviews. You're having to interact with assessors in ways you've never interacted before. You're having for some forces to self-assess your own medical conditions. You're having to film yourself doing the fitness test and upload it and send it to the force. Everything is new. Everything is new. We're having to adapt to change at this enormous speed in the police recruitment and police training world. But the good thing is I've been doing a lot of this already for, for quite a few years now. I've been running webinars. I've been running my coaching now for several years via the medium of Messenger, Skype. So this isn't quite the new normal for me. What is new is the new assessment process. What is new is how forces are now taking their final interview and they're putting it in front of the assessment centre. How some forces are using situational judgment tests, how some aren't. How some are bypassing stage one of the College of Policing uh, process, which is situational judgment test. It's all new, it's all different. And over the past couple of weeks, I've been researching this in such depth, oh my goodness, you wouldn't believe it, in an incredible amount of depth, 14 hour days. Uh, can you see the bags under my eyes? 14 hour days has not been unusual. But what I've managed to do and what's come out of this is I've managed to work out. And the way I do this, I work out exactly what each one of the exercises is going to involve, what that new normal is going to involve. My starting point is things like the competency and values framework. I understand this inside and out. This is my world. It's my world. And what that has enabled me to do is to put together resources like this one. Uh, this is a resource for preparing for the module uh, two, uh, stage two process for the online police assessment process. Um, and it's hot off the press and clients are using this already. And what I'm gonna do in the 10 day challenge in the how to succeed in the new police recruitment process in just 10 days is I'm gonna share much of this with you. I'm gonna share my knowledge and understanding of how the competency and values framework works. I'm gonna share my in-depth understanding of what this requires from you. Because the good thing is, the College of Policing have said, these are the competencies you're going to be assessed against in each one of the exercises, which enables me to work backwards through this to create this kind of thing, this kind of resource. Now, a lot of it is in draft form at the moment, and we're not in the world of fancy PowerPoints. I mean, look behind me. This actually is hot for the press. This is something which a interactive webinar based course that's preparing for the online assessment center is created with me over the past couple of hours. I started off with the initial framework and through working through a problem, um, the sort of problem that I believe you're going to get in the assessment process in stage two, sorry, stage three of the assessment process, we've come up with a template. Now, whilst this template might not mean much to you, it will if you take part in the 10 day challenge. So what's the 10 day challenge all about? Well, join using the link below the Blue Light Police Recruitment Face Support Group, Facebook Support Group. Join in the link below over 10,000 members of the Police Recruitment Facebook Support Group. This is a Blue Light group that's got over 10,000 members in it. Can you believe that? There's over 300 posts every week all laser focused, laser targeted on police recruitment. Over 3,000 engagements and comments in that group. I can hardly keep up with it, but what an amazing group they are. They don't require much policing, you know, uh, excuse the pun. Um, but what they've been doing over the past few years now is helping to support each other ethically through the police recruitment process. And I'll support them as well. I do Facebook live sessions. I'll post material. I'll post information for them. And this, this on the 20th of May is going to be something that I'm so excited about because we're going to start the 10 day makeover challenge. We're going to start the 10 day start over challenge. We're going to start the how to succeed in the new police recruitment process in just 10 days start over challenge. You're going to love this challenge. Why are you going to love it? Well, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to teach you every day some really important foundation aspect of the police recruitment journey. 
and I've broken it down into 10 segments from how to get into the right mindset to how to create the perfect application form, how to answer questions about the impact on your personal life of being a police officer, why you want to be a police officer, on how to prepare for the final interview or sometimes now the in-force interview that comes before the assessment process. And in detail, looking at the new College of Policing online assessment process, stage one, the situational judgment test, stage two, the interview that's not really an interview because you're uploading an answer to a question to a camera that's going to be assessed later. There is no human interaction at all. This is so different to anything you've ever done before. Stage three, how to conduct a, a, a really effective briefing because you're going to have to do a briefing and answer questions that are posed to you on screen. Once again, not to a real person, no human interaction and how to put together a brilliant template for the written exercise. That's what this is behind me. This is half the press. This is something I created with one of the interactive webinar courses over a two and a half hour period just 10 minutes ago. And we created this together. And this is what they're going to utilize to develop their own template for dealing with the written exercise. There's a lot more to it. And I know at this moment in time, they're going backwards and forwards on the recording of it, going backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, making notes of every little bit of detail that we come up with. They all agreed that we've, we've over-delivered. As a team, as a group, we have over-delivered on what's needed, but I'd much rather over-deliver than under-deliver. And that's what we're gonna do in this challenge. And you're going to be part of that team. It's not just me delivering some teaching. You could watch my videos on that on YouTube. You can watch my videos on Facebook for that. This is where you're going to interact because at the end of every one of those sessions, I'm going to set you a challenge. I'm going to set you a challenge. And what you're gonna do is respond to that challenge. It might be through a written document, some guidance, or even a video, because you're gonna to have to get used to being videoed and uploading that video onto a system where you're going to be later assessed. And I'm not gonna be assessing you brutally like the College of Policing Assessors will be, but for everyone who inputs something, I'm gonna take a look at all of them because you'd be inputting it into the privacy of that group. I'm gonna take a look at all of them and I'm gonna give an award every day to the one that I think is the most outstanding. And outstanding doesn't necessarily mean the most technically correct. Outstanding might mean that I know that this person has put an enormous amount of effort into it. And what am I going to award them with? Well, I'm going to give them access to my courses. I'm going to give them access to my interactive webinar programs. I might give someone two hours of bespoke coaching with me. The benefit from over 30 years worth of experience of coaching and supporting people for specialist interviews, promotion boards, and now more than ever, the recruitment process in England, Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland. And actually for some people beyond that, Canada, Australia, the United States, I've been coaching people all over the world now. Oh my goodness, over 30 years worth of experience. I'm gonna give away those sort of awards because we're gonna join each other on this challenge. We're gonna make it amazing. It's gonna be absolutely superb. You're gonna love every moment of it. And already everyone's so excited, so excited that they're saying, come on, let's bring this forward. Brendan, let's not wait until the 20th. Let's do it on the 15th. Let's do it tomorrow, let's start. Honestly, the group's on fire already. And I'd like you to be part of that group. I'd like you to come and join the group. Join the group. Come and join over 10,000 people as fired up as you're going to be to succeed in the police recruitment process. We're going to take a look at every aspect of the process from you having a dream of being a police officer to succeeding and having that warrant card in your pocket in just 10 days. How to succeed in the new police recruitment process in just 10 days. This is the Start Over Challenge. You're going to love it. This is your personal invitation. Come and join us. Click on the link. It'll take you to the Facebook group. It'll take you to the Facebook group. And once you're there, ask to join. Tell me why you want to join the group. Just put 10 day Start Over Challenge. That's enough. I'll invite you in. Take part in it. Invite a friend. If you know someone else who's struggling like you to understand the new process, invite a friend. Come and join me on this journey. In just 10 days, we're going to make such a difference to each other's lives. I'll be learning something from you as well. I mean, today, I'll just share with you. I don't think you can see it here, but someone made a point which I've written down. It's actually below there. Scroll, not print. Because everyone at the moment is working off my worksheets that I've created. But of course, on the day with the online assessment process, 
you can't go off a worksheet. You can only scroll up and scroll down because you can't print anything off. So I'm learning from you and I'm going to give as much of myself as I possibly can so you can learn from me. Join me on what's going to be the most amazing of journeys. I shall see you on the 20th for the start. See you then. Bye bye for now.